Hi there, I am with Elizabeth Hassett with uh, Elizabeth Bakes, and I'm so excited to get to know Elizabeth. I've seen her beautiful creations all over Instagram and was lucky enough to get my hands on some of her Valentine's treats at the Reds Yard um, uh, market this year. So she's been kind enough to um, spend a few few moments with me telling me about her story and her Denton-based business. So thank you so much for being here with me today, Elizabeth. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yes. Well, first off, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself, about your company and how you got started and when you moved to Denton? Sure. Um, my name is Elizabeth. Um, I have a cottage bakery here in Denton. Um, I'm a little outside of downtown. Um, I moved to Denton about six years ago and I was going to school at UNT. I was trying to finish up my degree and just had other plans. I got a job at Recycled Books in the downtown square and I worked there for a couple of years and just learned a lot, learned about music and books and art, film, everything. That's really what inspired me. And I decided just to go back to some of my early baking roots from when I worked at a bakery in high school. Um, and just cookie, cookie decorating videos were kind of the thing that were going around at the time. So, you know, I would just lay in bed and watch them and just kind of daydream like, oh, that seems kind of fun. So, you know, I just, got a sugar cookie recipe, tweaked it. I used to make my roommates decorate cookies with me during the holidays <laughs> and we would watch the Charlie Brown special and we decorate out of baggies and it, it was just really fun. So that's what I would do whenever I'd get off work. And before I knew it, I would just post pictures on social media and give them to friends and family, take them to work, um, just kind of hone the craft. And before I knew it, people were, asking me to make cookies for them. And it just kind of blew up from there, to be honest. <laughs> That's amazing. So it kind of happened just organically over time. Very, very, very organically. Um, and I was part-time with it for probably about three years because I was working full-time doing cookies for someone else for a bakery. I worked and um, in a commercial kitchen doing thousands of chocolate chip cookies. I worked um, at a boutique bakery in Dallas as the lead cookie decorator. Um, and we also did pastry stuff there. So I got to learn that side a little bit. So, you know, taking all of my experiences and, you know, making it my own has been, you know, just really rewarding. I bet. So can I ask you, how did you know when to make that jump? that switch to just making it all a hundred percent like your own business instead of doing part-time COVID pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I was actually, um, you know, I never really had the confidence to go full-time with it. Um, I eventually wanted to, but I just never thought that I could pay my bills by making cookies. <laughs> and I was working full time at a bakery and then I had helped another cottage baker in Louisville and she was about to move into her own storefront. And then when COVID hit, just all the orders stopped. And that's when I really had to think on my feet, you know, my job full time that I rely on it's just, there's no orders. I don't know what's going to happen. No one knew what was going to happen. So I really had to think quickly and I thought, okay, well, everyone's home now. What if I start putting together, decorate your own cookie kits? It's something that I always wanted to do similar to classes, similar to markets. I just never had the time because I was too busy working for someone else. So I decided to do that and offered free delivery around Denton. And I got a huge response and then Tiger King came out on Netflix <laughs> and I did Tiger King cookies and I posted that on Facebook and all the Denton groups and that blew up and just very organically, just through word of mouth. I haven't had to do any type of advertisement. I haven't had to pay for anything just from word of mouth. Um, I've had a lot of customers come my way with references. 
Um, the most rewarding is having repeat customers. I have customers that order every month. I have customers that order every year for their kid's birthday or people that just say, hey, when you have extras, let me know, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's, it's really nice. Just this past year, I have significantly grown. And though COVID just really, really sucks, it's, it's just a blessing in disguise for me and my business, really. I've, I've been able to, um, you know, work on my own brand and where I see myself and what kind of business, you know, I want to be in. And do I want to keep doing cookies? Do I want to keep doing custom orders? Do I want to do classes? You know, just kind of where do I want to put my focus in, you know? That's incredible. I am so excited to hear a good news story, you know, coming out of the past year. I know there's a lot of them, but it's kind of hard to see yeah. all the, the disappointing ones. So thank you for sharing that. And yeah. kudos to you for, like you said, just thinking on your feet and being resourceful and really paying attention to your environment and like the way the community was responding to something so yeah. unexpected. And then finding not only a solution for your business and yourself, but like to help other people while they're oh, yeah. stuck at home. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I had so a lot great. of people, you know, say, um, a lot of people would buy kits and have them delivered to some of their students, you know, and they would get back and tell me they, they just loved it so much. So, you know, now I include, you know, decorate your own kits and all of my holiday sales. And I try to have those and they're just really fun. And hopefully I can work on putting videos together soon. And, you know, it just, it takes so much time, you know? Oh, I'm sure that's, that's yeah. cool. And so you, you were kind of mentioning before we started recording that you get a lot of custom orders yes. and that's like the bulk of your business. And yes. I mean, it, it really is amazing to see on your Instagram, some of those really nice details that people have. Do you have like a funny story of like your most out there requests or any, any unexpected requests that you can think of? Uh, besides like, you know, bachelorette cookies and nail <laughs> genitalia, you know, a lot of people like the curse words, um, the marijuana leaf cookies I do, those are always my biggest sellers. Um, I haven't had any super outlandish requests that I can think of, but I mean, I'll, I'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So for all your out there cookie decorating needs, you know, who yeah. to. <laughs> That's really good to know. Awesome. Well, um, since this is sort of like a local video series, I'd love to know since moving to Denton or, you know, since COVID hit, like what is your favorite thing about Denton that you appreciate and you wish you, you want everybody that visits to know about? I, the first thing I can think of is just how strong the community is. Um, I mean, even just growing up down the street, I never really felt that. But coming to Denton and, you know, there's new people that grow. We're a college town. You know, there's new people that come here. There's always a turnover. But there's just a select few people that are here that, you know, like yourself and um, other people I've been connected to, like Randy Skinner, you know, she's helped me a lot. Um, just that 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 sense of community, the strong bond, um, how we all want to preserve the culture and support each other. It's just it's really special. And I feel like it's, you know, not something that you find everywhere. And I, I feel very blessed to be here. And I feel, you know, just very welcomed, especially with my business and coming here, not being a native, um, not really knowing what I wanted to do with school and then just jumping into, you know, I'm going to start this cottage business and just having just the love from the community has been really awesome. Oh, I cannot agree more. Having lived all over North Texas, there's definitely just a strong, really strong and unique sense of community here, especially among the other business centers I've been yeah. speaking to. So yeah, yeah, totally second that. So um, now that you're growing and full time, um, where can we support you, find you, buy from you, request items from you? Tell yeah. us where you're at. Yeah, um, I have a website. Um, if you go to elizabethbakesdenton.com, um, I have everything laid out there. That's one of the things that um, I worked on this year was to get that going. And through the website, you can find um, a little bit of pricing information. 
though because everything's custom, it's obviously going to change. So there's an order request tab on there for you to fill out. And um, I try to get back to messages as soon as I can. It's just so hard because I'm a one woman show and I'm baking and I'm decorating and I'm cleaning, you know, so <laughs> um, I try to stay on my toes. Um, but also I have Instagram. It's going to be Elizabeth underscore Bates. And then you can find me on Facebook. I think it's Eliz Bakes, but you know, you could just type it in. Um, yeah. And you can always shoot me an email at Elizabeth Bakes Denton at gmail.com. That's awesome. Thanks. Well, I hope to see you out and about once enough people are vaccinated and yes. we can have things back to normal. Love to see you at Red's Market. Hope you're able to do a few more of those this year. And yeah. we'll definitely be keeping in touch. <laughs>